Hey guys, what's up? It's Famous from Famous Works and Productions. Today I'm going to be helping you out learn how to use StarCraft II Editor and how to get into detail with it. And so st to start off with saying that I have my website going. Uh, if you want to visit it, see some of the maps we made. So far, it's FamousWorks dot heavenform dot com so it would be nice if you could visit it maybe sign up you know and go ahead and like get into it and everything alright so today we're gonna start off with how to make like a good great terrain a great level but I'm gonna show you some of the basics how to start it off and with what so first we're gonna go to the top where it says terrain right next to units and then click on cliff so what you're gonna do with cliff is you're gonna be able to do five different options you're gonna be able to raise cliff lower cliff same level cliff add ramp and remove ramp We'll get into the ramps later, but for now I'm going to show you how to use raised cliff and lower cliff. So, there's different choices that you can use for the radius and the shape of each cliff. There, you have three different choices at the bottom. It's circle, square, and diamond. Mainly, I prefer circle, but you can choose whatever works for you. Also, the size matters a lot. There's a big time chance that you'll make make something a little bit too big or a little too small so you want to pick the right size that you want to work with so let's start off with a, well main default is 4.0 so let's go ahead and go up to the top with your arrow keys and don't make it all the way at the very top of the very bottom or the very sides because there is a for, like a length cut out of the map that it does not let you use so I'm gonna go ahead and go right about here so start off with bringing up some raised cliff I'm gonna go ahead and circle it around a little bit maybe get a square going in there mm, a little bit bigger alright now that we got that going we're gonna go ahead and see how see how it has its little lengths right here how it's certain heights well you can keep on building up on that instead of just starting down from like right here you'd be right there and you couldn't like you couldn't build any higher you can't actually build it higher you can build a one height level higher so what you gotta do you gotta be on top of this hill and you gotta go ahead and bring it up right there and I recommend leaving some space on the sides so like so nothing messes up at all Whoops. alright and then what you want to do next is you can use the lower cliff operation which if you're on top of a cliff that you don't want like this right here what you can do you can lower it like that and it'll be gone also what you can do is you could have it right let's say right here you can bring it down on the level itself and then make like a deep end trench type of thing so so we got that right there and working with that <sighs> alright next we're gonna do same level cliff which you get to work with as if you're like say you're up top and see how it doesn't do anything if you just click it and work it around yeah that doesn't do anything but if you're if you click on a higher level piece and then you drag it a little bit over a non level like not the same level then it copies it over and then makes it the same exact level see how that did that so let's do that again right over here bam again bam 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 alright 
So, and since this part isn't exactly a square, let's go ahead and lower that down a little bit with the same level operation. Bringing that a little bit over, and bam, right there. See that? Alright, now that we got that down, what we're going to use is add ramp. This is actually a really good tool to use, because if people are spawning up here with marines and such, what are they, how are they going to get down with medavics? Yeah, I don't think so. That's not going to work. What you're going to do, you're going to use your ramps. Go ahead and push them down right there. Make it nice and easy to walk down with a big path. Sometimes you can make a smaller path. I recommend using a size of 2.5 so you can work around it and make make a decent ramp. Not a huge one, not too small. So pretty much like this. We got that, those two, there, there. Leave some space and leave some space just like up here and over here. And then we're done with that. Now, what you want to do, if you say that you want an exact copy of this, this right here, what you want to do is take your square, this is usually what I do, and size it out a bit. See what usually the size is. So I'm going 6 or 6.5. 7, 7.5, so and so. Let's see how big this gets. Um, I would say about 12. Just straight up 12. So let's work with that over here. Um, let's get the measurement out right there. And then start using your arrow keys to go down. And put it about right there. And there you go. You got a, pretty much an exact copy of that. And then, and since there is no such thing as a rectangle one, what you want to do, you want to lower down the size to about enough for two squares. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, right. Yep, perfect. Alright, so, what I'm going to do now is put these on the very back, leave some space. Remember that, you always want to do that. And then, there you go. Go ahead and add the ramps. Whoops. 2.5. Got that. And got that. There we go. All finished. Now, to use the remove ramp operation, say that we built a ramp for like right here, and you cannot stand that at all you just don't want it what you gotta do you gotta use the remove ramp operation you gotta slide it right across just to remove it it's that simple alright so let's continue working on with this stuff um, say that you want 